Hi friends, I am Rob the Dungeon Tutor, also Omnisci on YouTube, and I am taking part in RPG A Day 2022, this being the penultimate day of August, and that makes this the penultimate question for 2022, which is, what should RPG A Day do for its 10th anniversary next year? That's right, I've been doing this for six years, but it existed for three years before that, uh, primarily being uh, inspired from the community in the RPG Brigade Facebook group. But since then, it's grown beyond that boundaries, even as RPG Brigade has kind of faded away quite a bit. Um, but why <clears throat> uh, why should we, we celebrate this? Because honestly, I think in the 10 years, we've done our own little bit of good. Um, making a lot of positive content that people can find, even beyond August. Uh, you can always go back for some inspiration. Just punch in hashtag RPG a day. And there's a number of us creators who have been making this kind of content. There are people who've made blogs celebrating RPG a day. Um, one of the options was to make a piece of art. It wouldn't surprise me that there were some talented artists out there who did the same. So, by and large, you know, RPG a day should be celebrated. And looking ahead to next year, which will be its 10th, it should really have something special. And I'm going to be posting this on RPG A Day's site. I want to link this because I want them to get this idea, which I think is going to be brilliant. So I've given a little thought to this. Sometimes I like to come to these questions and not have a clue, but this time, no, I've got some thoughts. So this is my idea. This is what RPG A Day should do, I feel. Get a dungeon map. Each room is a different day. You can have the, the, the participants going through the dungeon to each room and answering the question or the topic, which I believe should be the top questions that have been asked over the last 10 years or nine years. Uh, you should cherry pick the best ones, the ones that you thought gave the most evocative, uh, you know, topics for, for, for questions. Um, because it's, there's, there's some of us who have done this from the very beginning. I'm not one of them. I missed out on three years. And I'm sure there were some great questions back then when you were just starting out that I haven't seen. So I would like a chance at that. And also I think it would be really neat if the people who had done those questions all the way through took another crack at those so we could see how their questions, how their game personas, how their experiences have changed them. I think that could be a very, very eye-opening uh, way of doing it. And you could, of course, key in the dungeon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 31. That would be cool. But what I would do is I would explore it like a dungeon. I would literally... You would see me lay out the dungeon and I would move my piece around and you would see where my piece lands on that level. So not just the, the, the graphic with the list. That's, it's great. It's served well. No, no questions about it. But I would love to see a 31-room dungeon keyed off with different numbers and then a second panel showing the questions. And again, the questions and topics as having been cherry-picked out for nine years, inviting us to take a part of the best questions that have come out and challenge people who've done them before to actually really think and revisit the questions and show us how they've grown as players, as participants, as personalities. And uh, I think that could be really good. So I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I'd be the best at it or anything like that. I mean, it is my idea. And if I have the idea, I should be willing to help out with the implementation of it. But I'm pretty sure I could draw out a 31-room map without too much difficulty, especially, you know, I could even use a, one of those random dungeon generators that guarantees that it's as tight as possible. Could do something like that. Um, or maybe we have a talented uh, cartographer in the community who likes making dungeon maps. That would be really cool. I would like those ones with the kind of cross-hatching to show the solid rooms. I, I, I kind of like that. I always like that even just a little bit more than the, uh, the, the blue from the classic dungeons. 
I, I find the cross hatching really stands out better, but that's me. But that's my idea, and that's that's something that I very much would love to see next year. And hopefully, the the folks behind it, uh, Rune Slinger and whoever's helping them these days. Uh, I don't know if Autocratic is is continuing on with anything like that, but I think it's mostly uh, Anthony or Rune Slinger. Um, Hopefully this helps. Maybe this is an idea that, that that gets some traction because I would really like to see it. So thank you, <laughs> thank you guys for for making this. I appreciate the chance to make these videos. Again, my very first videos that showed up on YouTube were me answering 2016 RPG a Day questions before I even had my Lair of Omnisci channel. I was doing RPG a Day from August 1st on. So this really helped me break into making videos. So I'm very grateful, and that's why I continue to do this. Um, it's been it's been another year. It always ends up that by the end of the year, I'm like, or by the end of August, I'm like, oh, another day. But we do it because it's good for the community. And honestly, I, I I know there's some people out there who really love these videos. So I will continue to make them, and uh, gratefully uh, take the opportunity to tell you more about myself, my perspective, anything I can help that that hopefully helps you. So until next time, my friends, thank you for joining me. I am Rob the Dungeon Tutor, or Omnisci. If you like this video, yeah, you want to give me a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to drop a comment, what you liked, what your ideas would be, we'd certainly pass those on as well, uh, I would be very grateful. And if you want to discuss next year's RPG a day, you think I should do something other than just wear a different hat or a different mask every day of the week? Because that's what I've done. I have one, worn a completely different hat. Even if I'm wearing the same shirt from video to video sometimes, I've worn a different hat or a mask every day because that's one of my things I love to collect. Um, even sometimes to the detriment of the video, perhaps? But... Uh, if you have some sort of idea or thing, I can wear a different gaming shirt every day. I think I have enough of those, too. Uh, but until next time, thank you again, and farewell.